2024 gift campaign is less than 30 days away and it's a chance to support nonprofits across the Pikes Peak region. And to get you excited, Executive Director Victoria Norton is here to tell us all about a special partnership they just launched. I'm excited yep. about this one. It's a good one. <laughs> We're really excited but about before it. Before we do, okay, thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah, happy to always. do it. It's always nice to check in. Yes. And a bit of an update. Yeah, okay. it's been a busy couple of months. It ha really has. It yeah. really has. And we love support and give right. okay, on the show. Where are we at now, this time of year? Let's kind of update the viewers. Yeah. yeah. So you have been uh, talking to all the nonprofits for the last several months. Mm -hmm. You're participating in this year's campaign. We have 65 nonprofits that we are so proud to partner with. They do such amazing work. And they come in and, and tell you about it mm -hmm. every week, don't they? It's, all, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. It really is. So during this time period, they've been doing workshops. They've been learning from local experts in marketing, fundraising, um, all sorts of stuff. And they've had this chance to kind of build community, work together, mm -hmm. um, and really get ready for this year's campaign, which launches on November 1st. Very exciting. Yeah. What's the feedback been like from mm. nonprofits, et cetera? Even ones that have been on the show as well. Yeah. What's it been like? Yeah, we have 10 brand new nonprofits this year. This is their first year participating in the campaign. And the thing that we're hearing from them is how valuable the workshops are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how much they're learning, and then also getting to know the other nonprofits in the city. I had two connecting this morning from two different nonprofits who I just connected and said, hey, you're trying to do the same thing. Let's see if we can work together. So collaborations. Yeah, for sure. And helping each other out, because yeah. maybe I'm obviously like people might have thought, oh, it's just a very individual. Right. But it is, it's like a team, isn't it? Yeah. It really is, and it helps yeah. so much. Yeah, our whole community benefits from the nonprofits that mm -hmm. really invest in us in all the different areas. We have 11 different categories mm -hmm. in the campaign, from animals to veterans to youth and they're doing all this incredible work here yeah, and to breweries as well yeah so <laughs> yeah. part of the fun part of the campaign is we yeah. partner with local businesses and great partners like you guys yeah. here at loving living local uh, and bristol is, uh, has been a faithful partner of the give campaign almost since it started and we are incredibly excited about a new opportunity we're doing this year which is the give bristol Brow growler um, you can head to bristol today and pick up a growler for thirty dollars and you will get a, t uh, a ballot and on the ballot you get to choose where your donation goes so you get to pick which nonprofit gets to receive your $25 donation, and then you get a punch card for 10 half-price refills. I love a growler. Yeah, I don't know yeah. I do. yeah but well, Bristol is absolutely awesome. Do you know, so for something like so for an organization like Bristol as well, how did it work for them? Did they just reach out to you? How does, yeah. how does, how does it work? Yeah, Bristol's been a partner from the very beginning. So this is our 16th year of running the gift campaign. Amazing. And they've been a part of it from the very beginning of being a great partner. We have other local businesses that support the campaign, yeah. and they do reward perks for people who donate during the campaign as well. I saw that on the website. And yeah. reward partner as well. Right. Donation. People can donate as well yeah. on the website. Yeah. For more information obviously for everything social media as well how can people find out more yeah so givepikespeak.org you can go and kind of see what we're doing but on november 1st that website turns into just a fundraising platform for our local nonprofits. It's amazing. And you're going yeah. to come back on, I do believe, November 1st. That's right. We're going to come this in. This is exciting. And we're it? so excited it's about it. We have a big public launch that we're doing, and you can come and re get some of the rewards and find out about the fun things that we're doing. What do you love, uh, you personally, about being part of this GIVE campaign? What, yeah. what is it? Is it seeing these uh, obviously yeah. nonprofits? Is it yeah. working within the community? Yeah, I love living here in Colorado Springs, but I think what makes us so incredible as a community are these nonprofits and getting to hear from these people who are so passionate about the work that they they do. Mm -hmm. I love being a part of that. And we love having them on the show as yeah. well. Okay, big sorry, thank you so much. Yeah, you're Okay, so can I take one of these now or not? Not, not okay, quite. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can head to Ivy Wild this week to try the Give Growlers at the Bristol Brewing Pub. And for more information about Give Pikes Peak and to donate, head to the website on your screen. And this segment has been sponsored by Give Pikes Peak.